Well, hello, and welcome back to the 100 Pencil Portraits Challenge. This is the episode number 4. My friend and I decided to try the Double Meme Challenge. The challenge is about drawing the same exact person from the same exact reference photo and putting your finished paintings or drawings next to each other to see how similar or different your drawing styles are. So the person we chose to draw is Su Kai, a Chinese actor. I have only seen one drama from him, but my friend is more familiar with his other works too. The drama that we both watched is titled Falling into your smile. In order to choose the reference photo, we collected some possible photos into a shared folder and then we chose this one. Our only requirement was that we wanted a photo where Su Kai had a man bun. Why a man bun, you might ask? The answer is simple. We both agree that man buns are cool and they fit well to our model, so yeah, that's why. I was a little bit scared of the reference photo we ended up choosing because it is a side profile. Until now, I have been mainly drawing people in front perspectives and three quarter perspectives. Okay, okay, this is not the perfect side profile, but the side profile enough to frighten me. The internet is full of art memes about the other eye and how to cover the other eye with hair or even an eye patch, because it is impossible to draw both eyes well in one artwork. Yes, it's true, the second eye is scary, but for me the lips and chin from the side profile are probably the worst. Okay, not the worst, because the absolute scariest thing ever is to draw someone smiling with teeth showing. I have absolutely no idea how to draw someone smiling with teeth showing without making the portrait creepy. But yeah, chin and lips from the side profile are still scary, and the reason behind that is that they are not in the middle of the face anymore, since you are now drawing the side profile and not the front perspective. In side profile, you have to line up lips and chin according to less landmarks, so to speak, since you don't have the second eye anymore guiding your drawing steps. You have the nose, but you have to line that up too correctly without much help from the second eye. Don't get me wrong, front perspectives are also hard and human faces are never completely symmetrical, but at least you have more symmetry to rely on when you wonder the correct coordinates of facial features. Anyway, because I have too little experience with side profiles and especially my weak spots, aka the chin and the lips, I left them almost last in my drawing process. I figured out that if I get the eyes, nose, forehead, ear and hair in their right places first, it might be easier to draw the chin and lips too. And I feel like it helps. I'm still not completely satisfied with how the lips turned out, but I feel like I will have plenty of opportunities to practice drawing lips during this challenge. So I left the lips like this for this time. By the way, if you draw portraits of humans or animals, do you have any favorite or most hated perspectives? It would be nice to read about your experiences in the comment section below. By the way, I hope you're ready to see the finished portrait because here it is. And since I did this portrait as a double meme challenge with my friend, here are our drawings side by side. Mine is on the left and my friend's is on the right side of the screen. Thank you for watching, hope to see you in the next video.